Hello everyone, my name is Javian and today... Today I'll be showing you some more Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. This time I'll be going over the classes or roles as they're known in this game, and the skills and gadgets you can use to customise your playstyle. The role system in this game doesn't function in the same way as the previous games, since you have much more freedom in how you can build your characters. When you level, you'll gain CP, and this CP can be spent to allocate stat points. A certain number of stat points will be required to equip the weapons, skills and gadgets that you'll want to use. And depending on the skills that you pick, you'll be funneled into one of the six following roles. Assault, Tank, Supporter, Destroyer, Engineer and Sniper. And if you want to know what your current role is, it will be indicated by a role icon on your status bar and on the status menu. The skills that you can use will be tied to the weapon types, and you can only equip four skills per weapon. You may not be able to equip every skill from a certain role at the same time, but you can still mix and match skills from all roles, as long as your stats and the weapon allows it. Skills rank up the more you use them, and higher rank versions of a skill will have higher equip requirements, but will have more advantages. So keep in mind that you might not be able to equip the higher rank versions of skills if you don't focus on certain stats. Now I'm going to go over the base level skills that you can use in each role so you have more of an idea of what they do. And the first role I'm going to go over is the Assault role. Anyone in the Assault role is more of a frontline attacker that focuses on offense. The skills they can use are Power Form This temporarily increases your attack. Speed Form Temporarily increases your movement speed. Conceal Makes it harder for enemies to find and detect you. Quick Shot shoots a volley of bullets at an enemy. Sliding Shot shoots bullets in front of you while you slide forwards. Scatter Wheel fires shots while jumping. Gun Stinger charges towards the target and shoots if the hit connects. Omnia Vanitas performs a high speed step that can be used multiple times in succession. Sword skills are also from the Assault role, but I don't really need to go over what each one of these does since they're sword skills. You hit things with them until they die. Plus I made a dedicated video for swords and I covered gun and sword in the dual world video. So go and check those out when you have the chance. The next role is Tank. Tanks draw enemy aggro and protect the team from harm. And they can use the following skills. Armor form temporarily increases your defense. Attention seeker makes enemies more likely to target you for a set period of time. Trigger happy temporarily reduces reload time. Human Fortress stops you from flinching when taking damage for a short period of time. Acrobatic Fire lets you dodge left or right while still firing. Tactical Roll reloads your gun while doing an evasive roll. Taunting Yell provokes the enemy into focusing on you. Shield Matrix stops you from moving but makes you impervious to damage. Holding down the button can extend the duration of the skill. So now on to the next role that a few people have been asking to see, the Supporter. Supporters assist the team by buffing and healing them, and here are the skills they can use. Healing Bullet shoots a bullet that restores HP to an ally. HP Recovery Shot fires a bullet that restores an ally's HP over time. Curing Field Shot fires a bullet that creates an area that allies can use to cure their status ailments. Healing Field Shot fires a bullet that creates an area that allies can use to restore their HP. AED Shot fires a bullet that revives a dead ally. Power Form Shot fires a bullet that temporarily boosts an ally's attack. Armor Form Shot fires a bullet that temporarily boosts an ally's defense. Power Field Shot fires a bullet that creates an area that allies can use to boost their attack. Guard Field Shot fires a bullet that creates an area that allies can use to boost their defense. Critical Form Shot fires a bullet that increases an ally's critical rate. Nanotech Boost Shot fires a bullet that temporarily boosts an ally's stats. The next role is the Destroyer. Destroyers are heavily armored and they have massive firepower. Their skills include Explosive Shot. Fires a bullet that creates an explosion that damages enemies who touch it. Heat Detonator fires a bullet that can cause blaze by using the heat from the Gatling gun. 
This skill will also cool down the Gatling gun. Plasma Blast fires a bullet that creates an explosive plasma field. Nemesis Burst fires an explosive that deals more damage the lower your remaining HP is. Graviton Shot fires a bullet that creates an attraction field that draws enemies into it. And Dash Attack deals a body blow in front of you that deals more damage when you're at close range. The next role is the Engineer. The Engineer is great at using gadgets and can debuff enemies. Engineers can use the following skills. Hawkeye temporarily boosts your detection to reveal hidden and camouflaged enemies. Enhanced Gadget can temporarily boost the effectiveness of some gadgets. Power Break Shot fires a bullet that temporarily lowers enemy attack. Armor Break Shot fires a bullet that temporarily lowers an enemy's defense. Toxic Gas Blast fires a bullet that creates an area that can inflict poison on enemies. Blazing Blast fires a bullet that creates an area that can inflict blaze on enemies. Electrodynamic Stunner fires a bullet that creates an area that can inflict stun on enemies. Tranquilizer Shot fires a bullet at an enemy and makes it less likely to target you. And Replenish Gadget replenishes a small amount of your gadget's recharge time. And the final role is the Sniper. The Sniper specializes in long range attacks using sniper rifles. Snipers can use the following skills. Concentration temporarily raises your bullet circle accuracy. Bullet Line Eraser temporarily causes a short delay in the time it takes for your bullet line to be shown and makes it harder for enemies to detect you. Eagle Eye Beacon fires a bullet that temporarily adds the part it hits as a lock on point on a circle frame. And Sentry Style puts you into a crouching stance that increases attack, defense and reload speed as long as you remain still. Along with all these role skills there are many gadgets that you can use. Gadgets are not bound to any weapons but you can only have 4 of them equipped at a time. Here are the different gadgets that you can equip and what they can do. First Aid Kits will gradually recover your HP. Anti-Ailment Kits will temporarily increase your resistance to status effects. A Frag Grenade is a standard grenade that explodes after a short period of time. Plasma Grenade is a highly explosive grenade that explodes in a plasma blast a short time after it's been thrown. A Sticky Grenade is a special grenade that sticks to the target and explodes after a short while. Ion Grenade is a time delayed grenade that creates a powerful superheated explosion. Smoke Grenade is a time delayed grenade that creates a smoke screen, hiding your movements. Flashbang is a time delayed grenade that creates a blinding glare and a deafening sound. Proximity Mine places a mine on the ground that explodes when an enemy gets close to it or if you decide to shoot it. Electromag Stun Trap functions like a proximity mine but deals lower damage and can cause stun. Anti-AR Veil places a shield in front of you that protects against attacks. Combat Knife performs a swift slashing attack with a knife. Toxic Knife throws a knife that can inflict poison. Ignition Knife throws a knife that can inflict blaze. And the melee booster kit temporarily increases your melee attack power but reduces bullet circle accuracy. And that's it for the roles, skills and gadgets that you have available to you when you start the game. The release is right around the corner now so expect some English gameplay very soon. If you want to see more Sword Art Online and very soon more of the other games I'll be covering on this channel then subscribe and click that bell. And if you want to watch my streams and stay up to date with everything I'm doing then be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links to those are in the description. I'll be making some more videos very soon but until I make those videos, I'll see you all later.